Stewart, driven by curiosity, decided to install cameras in his office after discovering piles of money surrounding his adopted stray cat each morning, eager to uncover the truth behind the mysterious occurrence. Stewart diligently set up the surveillance system, hoping to capture the cat's nightly activities while he settled in front of his laptop. Anticipation coursed through Stewart's veins. The soft glow of the screen illuminated his face as he anxiously monitored the live feed from the cameras. For a while, everything seemed ordinary, with the cat meandering around before curling up for a nap. However, just as Stewart began to lose hope of discovering anything unusual, his attention was abruptly drawn back to the screen. His eyes widened in disbelief as he watched the cat embark on a clandestine journey into the night. With agile grace, the feline slipped out of the office and disappeared into the darkness. Stewart's heart pounded with excitement and intrigue as he observed the cat's mysterious escapade. Where was it going? What was it doing? These questions raced through Stuart's mind, fueling his desire to unravel the enigma reflecting on his lifelong affinity for animals. Stuart reminisced about his childhood spent caring for strays and his unwavering dedication to providing them with love and shelter, despite his wife's reluctance to welcome another pet into their home. Stuart couldn't resist the urge to offer refuge to the forlorn cat in the days that followed. Stuart found himself growing increasingly attached to the cat, whose presence brought a sense of warmth and companionship to his office. Though the source of the cat's mysterious wealth remained a mystery, Stuart couldn't help but admire its resourcefulness and independence. When the surveillance footage continued to capture the cat's nightly excursions, Stuart's fascination only deepened, each evening became a thrilling adventure, as he eagerly awaited the cat's return, eager to witness the Next chapter in its captivating tale ultimately, Stewart's decision to adopt the stray cat not only transformed his office into a haven of curiosity and wonder but also brought a newfound sense of purpose and joy to his life. And though the cat's nocturnal activities remained shrouded in mystery, Stewart found solace in the bond they shared, a testament to the profound connection between man and animal. Eager to introduce the newest member of the office, Stewart was confident that the cat would thrive in its new environment. By day, he ensured the cat had a comfortable bed and toys, while at night, he provided a cozy setup to keep it entertained. Little did Stuart anticipate the surprises the cat had in store for him, the office was immediately enamored with the charming feline, basking in its affectionate ways. The cat seemed content to leave its days of wandering behind, relishing the warmth and care it found in its new home. Despite having a designated bed, the cat's favorite spot. To doze off turned out to be on top of desks, sparking playful bets among the office workers each day. As time passed, the cat seamlessly integrated into office life, brightening everyone's workdays with its presence. Stewart, initially uncertain about keeping the cat at the office, soon found himself grateful for the joy it brought. However, the unexpected appearance of dollar bills on the office floor puzzled everyone each morning. Stewart would find a new pile of dollar bills accompanied by the cat, seemingly awaiting acknowledgement for its mysterious bounty. Despite his efforts to trace the source, Stuart remained perplexed as the stacks of money continued to grow. With no clear explanation in sight, Stuart decided to install cameras in the office to unravel the mystery. The bustling street outside provided an additional incentive for heightened security. But Stuart's primary focus was capturing the cat's nocturnal activities. With the cameras in place, anticipation mounted as Everyone awaited the revelation of the cat's nighttime escapades and the source of the unexplained wealth. Stuart found himself in a routine of vigilantly monitoring his office from afar. With his laptop as his window to the workplace, he logged in to view the live feed from the security cameras. The screen lit up to reveal the interior of his office, where a cat, seemingly a part of the office family, roamed freely. Initially, the feline displayed its curious nature, exploring every nook and cranny. However, it wasn't long before the creature succumbed to slumber, finding solace on its cozy bed. This moment of tranquility, however, was short-lived as something peculiar unfolded right before Stuart's eyes. A subtle, yet distinct, movement flickered across Stuart's laptop screen, snapping him back to attention. The cat, previously in the grips of sleep, was now wide awake and positioned strategically in front of the glass doors. These doors were no ordinary doors, they served as the mysterious portal through which money seemingly materialized every day. Outside, a passerby halted in his tracks, 
captivated by the sight of the cat in a spontaneous act of generosity, or perhaps curiosity, the man retrieved his wallet, selected a bill, and skillfully navigated it through a slender opening in the door, the bill danced tantalizingly, an inch away from the feline's grasp, demonstrating remarkable agility and precision, the cat leaped, swiping the bill with its paws and claiming it as its own. The scene was so astonishing that Stuart felt compelled to validate the reality of the situation by sharing it with his wife, her laughter, and confirmation that indeed, the cat had adeptly stolen a dollar, provided Stuart with the reassurance he needed, the man outside, rather than displaying any signs of frustration, seemed amused, almost as if he had anticipated this outcome. With a smile etched on his face, he continued on his way, seemingly unbothered by the loss of his money. This event was just the beginning, upon Stewart's return to the office, he discovered the cat lounging beside an even larger collection of dollar bills than before, it became clear that the incident with the passerby was not an isolated one, the cat had turned this peculiar talent into a regular performance, attracting contributions from numerous individuals, curiosity peaked. Stewart shared the extraordinary footage with his office colleagues, sparking an eruption of laughter and wonder. Questions abounded. How had this unique interaction between the cat and passersby begun? Who was the first to discover this entertaining spectacle? It appeared that the tale of the cash-grabbing cat had quickly spread throughout the town, transforming the office into a local attraction. People from all walks of life now made pilgrimages to witness the feline's trickery firsthand, especially in the evenings. One particular evening, Stuart logged onto the live feed to find an astonishing sight. A queue of eager spectators stretched outside the office, each person awaiting their turn to engage with the cat. This newfound fame had turned the cat into a local celebrity, with its nightly performances becoming a must-see event for residents and visitors alike. The phenomenon of the cash-grabbing cat had not only brought joy and laughter to the community but had also woven a unique thread of connection among strangers, all drawn together by the antics of one clever feline as people gathered around capturing the moment with their photos and videos, there sat a cat, seemingly indifferent to the flurry of activity around it, however, this facade of disinterest was quickly dropped as the cat cleverly snatched the banknotes being slipped through the door slot, much to the amusement of the onlookers, this unexpected behavior turned into a spectacle, drawing even more attention, but it also presented Stuart with a growing dilemma, the office floor was no longer just scattered with a few bills, it was now covered in substantial amounts of money. All thanks to the cat's newfound hobby, proudly, the cat would sit beside its loot, leaving Stuart in a quandary. The problem was multifaceted, firstly, the money accumulating on the office floor didn't rightfully belong to them, despite the fact that the participants willingly engaged in this unique interaction with the cat, knowing full well where their money was going. It didn't alleviate the ethical concerns surrounding the situation. After much contemplation, Stuart decided that something needed to be done. The joy and laughter the cat brought to people were undeniable, and halting such interactions wasn't an option Stuart wanted to consider. However, the transparency regarding the fate of the donated money was crucial. After a thoughtful discussion with his office team, they collectively arrived at a heartwarming solution. They decided that the funds inadvertently earned by their furry friend would be donated to charity, specifically choosing a homeless shelter and an animal shelter as the beneficiaries of this unexpected windfall to ensure clarity and maintain the integrity of their decision. Stewart took the initiative to create a conspicuous sign, this sign, placed prominently on the office door, detailed the amusing antics of their cat and clearly explained that all proceeds would henceforth be channeled to the chosen charitable causes. This decision marked a turning point. The cat's popularity surged even more, if that was possible, with its charitable actions. Becoming a sensation on social media, aware of where their contributions were going, people seemed even more eager to engage in this quirky game of cat and cash. The cat, for its part, remained as enthusiastic as ever, welcoming visitors at all hours, eager to steal their money for a good cause. What had started as an amusing nocturnal activity had now captured the hearts of people worldwide transforming the office and its feline resident into symbols of generosity and joy, the ripple effect of the cat's newfound fame didn't stop there, the office began receiving inquiries from all over, with people eager to learn how they could contribute to the cause, the story of the cat that turned a simple trick into a charitable mission had not only brought smiles and laughter but had also inspired a wave of generosity, 
proving that even the smallest of actions could lead to significant, positive change, Stewart had initially never anticipated the overwhelming response his project would receive. What started as modest expectations quickly ballooned, as individuals from across the globe reached out, eager to contribute more substantial sums than the initial dollar donations. These donors, touched by the heartwarming videos, expressed a deep desire to support the office's selected charities, even though they knew they might never encounter the charismatic cat in person. The joy and light these videos brought into their lives inspired a collective wish to contribute positively, in response to this outpouring of generosity, Stewart and his colleagues took proactive steps to streamline the donation process. They established official online donation portals for each of the charities they championed, ensuring that supporters could easily make contributions directly to the causes. The surge in interest also necessitated the creation of a dedicated email address solely for cat-related inquiries, as Stewart's professional inbox was swamped with messages from well-wishers and potential donors, amidst the logistical adjustments and growing public interest, the team recognized a significant oversight, the cat, the star of their initiative, had yet to be named, given the cat's burgeoning fame and the affection it had garnered from people both locally and internationally, choosing a fitting name became a priority, after considerable deliberation, Stewart proposed the name, Cashnip. A clever play on words that encapsulated the cat's role in generating donations, the team, unanimously agreed, feeling that Cashnip perfectly captured the essence of their feline fundraiser, as Cashnip continued to enchant both the local community and audiences worldwide. The team's efforts to support their chosen charities saw remarkable success. They managed to raise thousands of dollars, far exceeding their initial expectations. This experience not only underscored the unexpected ways in which joy and generosity can spread, but also highlighted the profound impact a single cat and a dedicated team can have on a wide array of charitable causes in addition to their regular duties. The office staff has taken on the delightful task of sharing photos and videos of Cashnip, the charismatic cat, on social media platforms. This initiative was aimed at spreading joy by showcasing Cashnip's endearing antics to a wider audience. Furthermore, the team diligently kept track of the charity pages linked to Cashnip, ensuring they promptly responded to inquiries from generous donors, when Stewart first discovered Cashnip on his porch and decided to rescue him, little did he know that this simple act of kindness would eventually be eclipsed by the cat's unexpected rise to fame as a fundraising sensation. Now, we turn the conversation over to you, our viewers. What are your thoughts about this heartwarming tale? Would you be interested in engaging in playful activities with Cashnip? We are eager to hear your opinions and experiences, so please don't hesitate to leave. A comment below sharing your thoughts after watching this story, what do you think of? Then there's an another story about cat, let's expect what will happen, embracing uniqueness doesn't diminish one's worth, this was proven when a man decided to adopt the most overlooked cat in a shelter, leading to an unexpected delight weeks later, on a typical morning, shelter staff were greeted by a familiar yet disheartening sight, a box left at their doorstep, it was an all too common scenario where, Individuals abandon animals they no longer wish to care for. Upon opening the box, they discovered a tiny kitten, a fluffy bundle that instantly warmed their hearts. Unlike other cats, this kitten lacked a nasal bridge, the bone that provides structure to the nose, giving him a distinctive appearance. Despite his unique look, the kitten was in good health, save for a slightly constricted nose. The shelter staff were optimistic. Given the high demand for young animals, they believed this kitten whom they named Monty, would soon find a loving home. Unfortunately, reality proved otherwise. Many visitors expressed interest in adopting kittens but were deterred by Monty's appearance. Comments ranged from not wanting a broken cat to simply stating he wasn't what they were looking for. Monty, a kitten full of love for humans, found himself repeatedly overlooked, his affection unrequited by those who couldn't see past his physical differences. They sought the ideal kitten that would complement their social media aesthetics, a decision they would come to regret. However, Monty's presence wasn't entirely in vain. Some visitors, unable to find their perfect kitten, ended up adopting older cats, providing homes to animals that might otherwise have been ignored. Others chose to wait for new litters. But as they came and went, Monty remained, a constant in the ever-changing landscape of the shelter. He made temporary friends with new arrivals, but as they found homes, he was 
left behind, yearning for a family to call his own. Then, a breakthrough occurred, a family, upon passing the kitten room, noticed Monty, no longer a tiny kitten but still young, he caught the attention of their teenage daughter, who found his unique appearance endearing, they requested some time with Monty, and it was an instant connection, Monty charmed them with his affectionate nature, enjoying their pets and play, basking in their attention, it was clear they were a perfect match, the family was ready to welcome Monty into their home, then, in an unexpected turn, an event occurred that would forever change Monty's fate, proving that being different doesn't make one any less deserving of love and a happy home, after a day filled with playful running and exploring, it was natural for Monty to catch his breath, somewhat more labored than usual, his energetic activities were beyond what he was accustomed to within the confines of his shelter space, leading to an innocent series of sneezes, this reaction, however, alarmed the family who was considering adopting him, they misinterpreted his sneezing for a sign of severe illness, despite the shelter staff's explanation that Monty's unique sneezing was due to the absence of his nasal bone, a condition he was born with, not an illness, the family, dismayed and feeling deceived, quickly withdrew their interest, they harbored suspicions towards the shelter, believing they were being misled into adopting a defective cat. As they put it, this incident left Monty without a perspective. Home once more, Despite the brief glimmer of hope that day had provided, the staff and Monty were disheartened, especially considering this was his first potential adoption in months, yet, they consoled themselves with the thought that a family so easily deterred by a few sneezes might not have been the best match for Monty, nonetheless, the encounter led to a prolonged period during which no other family showed interest in Monty, now growing from a kitten into an adult cat, a transition that made his adoption prospects even slimmer, residing in a no-kill shelter, Monty was assured a permanent safe haven, though the staff wished for more for him, they wanted him to experience the warmth of a loving home, as he aged and moved to the adult cat section, he faced challenges from other cats that saw him as an easy target, Monty, a pacifist at heart, would rather retreat than confront his aggressors, a behavior that saddened the shelter staff, they could only do so much within there limited space and resources, however, an unexpected visit would soon alter Monty's fate, Michael arrived at the shelter with the intention of adopting a dog to surprise his wife, following the loss of their previous canine companion, his wife, too empathetic to bear the sight of so many animals in need, opted to stay behind, entrusting the selection to Michael when he navigated the shelter, his path inadvertently led him past the cat section, where Monty's story awaited a new chapter during his visit to the animal shelter, Michael was walking towards the dog area when a particular cat captured his attention, Monty, the cat, was huddled in a corner, trying to make himself as small as possible while being antagonized by the other cats, concerned, Michael immediately notified the shelter staff, who quickly intervened to remove Monty from the situation, at the time, Monty was three years old and had spent all his life in the shelter, when Michael approached him, Monty's melancholic yet, Adorable expression struck a chord with him, despite Monty's shyness, a result of his prolonged shelter stay, he surprisingly warmed up to Michael, snuggling close to him, an affectionate gesture he had never shown to strangers before, originally intending to adopt a dog, Michael found his plans derailed by this unexpected connection, however, just as he was considering adoption, Monty began to sneeze, causing concern among the staff who feared this might jeopardize his chance at finding a home. Upon learning about Monty's sneezing and his condition of a leaky bladder, Michael was undeterred, ready to embrace the responsibilities that come with pet adoption. Driven by his deep affection for Monty, convinced Monty was meant to be part of his family, Michael hoped his wife would share his sentiment, without the need for the persuasive speech he had prepared. His wife immediately agreed to welcome Monty into their home after seeing him during a video call, after over three years in the shelter. Monty was finally going to be part of a loving family, despite his tough past, Monty's affectionate nature shone through as he relished in cuddles and naps with Michael, however, signs of his challenging shelter life were evident in his skittish reactions to loud noises and his tendency to seek refuge under the table, Michael and his wife were committed to providing a patient and nurturing environment for Monty, gradually helping him overcome his fears and encouraging him to engage in play, they also planned a vet visit to ensure his health, 
mindful of how this could potentially stress Monty due to his past traumas. To their relief, Monty enjoyed the vet visit, especially the fishy treat and the attention he received, indicating his love for meeting new people. The vet confirmed Monty's leaky bladder condition, but for Michael and his wife, this was just another aspect of caring for Monty. They were fully prepared to provide all the love and care he needed, embracing him as a cherished member of their family. To mitigate potential messes, a liner was strategically placed on the favorite sleeping area of their beloved cat. This practical solution meant that any accidental spills or messes could be swiftly handled. One day, the cat's adoptive mother awoke to find Monty missing, only to discover him concealed behind an end table. Noticing the soiled liner on his bed, she disposed of it, empathizing with Monty's evident distress over the mishap, understanding that reprimanding him would be futile. They coaxed him from his hiding with treats and showered him with affection, hoping to reassure him that accidents were not a cause for anger. Although Monty had been part of their family for some time, they were still in the early stages of truly getting to know him. Adopted from a shelter, Monty had initially been an overlooked cat, but over time, he revealed a remarkably loving and gentle nature. This transformation was a testament to the importance of Looking beyond appearances when adopting pets in an effort to advocate for animals like Monty, his adoptive family created social media profiles to share his journey, aiming to inspire more inclusive adoption practices. Among Monty's many followers, a young boy named Joshua found solace, facing relentless bullying due to his cleft palate and the scar it left. Joshua struggled with feelings of unworthiness and isolation. His mother attempted to lift his spirits by watching heartwarming animal videos with him, which is how they stumbled upon Monty's story. Despite his skepticism about the genuineness of Monty's situation and the love his family showed him, Joshua was captivated, his disbelief, rooted in his own experiences of feeling unlovable, deeply saddened his mother. Joshua's family sought various ways to support him through his depression, including therapy, but nothing seemed to reach him quite like Monty's videos did. Recognizing an opportunity, Joshua's mother contacted. Monty's adoptive parents, sharing how their cat had become a beacon of hope for her son. She proposed that perhaps meeting Monty and witnessing the unconditional love he received could help Joshua believe in love and acceptance for himself. This heartfelt outreach set the stage for a potentially life-changing encounter for Joshua, illustrating the profound impact that animals can have on human lives, especially for those feeling lost or unloved. When the couple first learned about Monty, a cat, with a unique appearance due to a cleft lip, they immediately felt a profound connection, recognizing the potential for a special bond. They reached out to their family via a video call to verify the authenticity of the situation. Following a positive confirmation, they eagerly invited Joshua and his mother for a visit. Joshua, a typically reserved child, was initially quiet, but the moment he sat down, an extraordinary interaction unfolded. Monty approached Joshua, nuzzled his head against the boy and began purring in a manner that seemed as if he was attempting to communicate directly with him. This touching scene brought tears to everyone's eyes, particularly when Joshua, moved by the connection, softly uttered, he really likes me. The visit was heartwarming and profoundly impactful, marking the first time Joshua truly understood the depth of love one could feel for a being that didn't conform to conventional standards of normal, although it was difficult to say goodbye. The visit planted a seed of inspiration not only in Joshua but also in his mother, motivated by the experience. She embarked on a mission to find Joshua the perfect companion, a puppy that shared his distinct feature, a cleft lip. This thoughtful addition to their family transformed Joshua's outlook on life. Despite facing teasing from peers, the bond he shared with his dog provided him with a sense of comfort and belonging. His canine friend's unconditional love was a constant reassurance that he was not alone. Monty's influence on the family was profound, having spent a considerable amount of time in a shelter, overlooked by many due to his appearance. Monty finally found a loving home where he was cherished, but his impact didn't end there. His story became a source of inspiration for many others, illustrating the power of acceptance and love. Monty's journey from an unwanted shelter cat to a beloved family member highlights the transformative effect of compassion and understanding, reminding us of the importance of looking beyond physical appearances to find true connection and love. Join us again for more heartwarming stories that celebrate the beauty of diversity and the strength of the human-animal bond. After watching this story, what do you think of? 
Then there's an another story about a girl and an ugly cat, let's expect what will happen, a young girl, during a routine outing with her mother, encountered a distressing scene by the roadside that left an indelible mark on her heart, as they drove down the street, their car's speakers blared the classic tune, hit the road jack. Setting a carefree backdrop to what was supposed to be a pleasant Saturday filled with ice cream and bird watching in the park, the girl, lost in the music and the joy of the moment, was about to engage in conversation with her mother when an unexpected incident caught her attention. A stone, seemingly propelled by an unseen force, soared through the air, narrowly missing its intended target, a cat that was huddled by the road's edge. The cat, visibly shaken, attempted to evade further attacks. Turning her gaze, the girl spotted the assailants, a group of five children armed with stones, taking turns aiming at the defenseless animal, outraged by the cruelty unfolding before her eyes. She couldn't help but shout at them to stop, despite her mother's warnings not to lean out of the car window. The children, undeterred, even hurled a stone in her direction, which miraculously passed through the open car windows without causing harm. As their car moved past the scene, the girl watched. Through the rearview mirror, her heart sinking as the stones continued to rain down on the cat, each hit accompanied by the animal's pained cries. In an effort to keep the children from bothering the feline, she urgently directed them to leave the cat alone, her voice firm and loud. She then devoted some effort to coaxing the cat closer, demonstrating through her actions that she posed no threat. Over time, the cat recognized her benign intent and gradually made its way into her embrace allowing her to lift it and place it in her car. When they made their way home, Joanna's thoughts drifted to the initial encounter with the cat, a memory that remained clear in her mind. The cat had arrived in their community as a stunning stray, quickly becoming the center of attention. Despite the affection and food it received due to its allure, it was left to roam the streets, its needs for a permanent home unmet. The cat's presence became a regular sight in the town for weeks until the Smiths, an elderly couple with no children but full of life and independence, decided to adopt it. Known for their adventurous spirit and philanthropy, the Smiths led a life of luxury and discretion, choosing to interact with a small circle of friends. Mrs. Smith, in particular, was a figure of fascination in the community, attending social events solo, always accompanied by her cats, and dressed in eye-catching fur coats. Her husband, on the other hand, had a passion for luxury cars, boasting, an impressive collection. Despite their wealth and somewhat aloof demeanor, the Smiths had a deep affection for animals, housing a variety of pets from goldfish to parrots and even snakes. The decision to adopt the beautiful stray cat didn't come as a surprise. However, it did stir a sense of loss among the townspeople who had grown fond of the cat's presence. Mrs. Smith named the cat Tabby, a name that humorously contradicted its ragamuffin appearance, with its pristine white fur and captivating blue eyes. Tabby was a beloved figure in the town, and its adoption into the Smith household led many to believe that it had found a truly wonderful home. While the extent of Tabby's happiness within the Smith's care remained a matter of speculation among the townsfolk, it was widely assumed that the cat experienced the best days of its life under their roof. Mrs. Smith doted on the cat just as she did with all her other pets. She spared no expense, lavishing it with baths, feeding it the finest cat food, and providing it with the most luxurious beds. Within a few weeks of being taken in, the cat's once dull fur began to glow, becoming the smoothest it had ever been. But more than anything, it cherished the affectionate cuddles and caresses it received from Mrs. Smith. For Ragamuffin, life couldn't have been better. The bond between them flourished, bringing joy to both parties. The townsfolk, captivated by the cat's elegance, felt a sense of longing for its presence. Everything seemed idyllic until that fateful evening, the night was like any other, with the moon casting its gentle glow and the stars twinkling in the sky. Suddenly, a flash of orange and a deafening bang shattered the tranquility. Joanna, startled from her bed, cowered underneath it in fear, peering out of her window. She witnessed smoke billowing into the air, signaling a house engulfed in flames, with urgency. Joanna's mother rushed to investigate, leaving Joanna anxiously waiting behind locked doors, despite 
Her apprehension, sleep eventually overtook her, and she awoke the next morning to the aftermath of chaos, the devastating news spread quickly, there had been a gas leak at the Smith's house, reducing it to rubble, amidst the destruction, only one survivor emerged, albeit with severe burns that marred its once perfect appearance, that survivor was Tabby, paramedics rushed Tabby to a vet, where it received treatment for its injuries, however, the trauma of the fire left Tabby deeply scarred, both physically and emotionally, accustomed to a life of comfort and care, Tabby struggled to readjust to the harsh realities of the streets, when Tabby roamed the familiar yet unforgiving streets once more, it faced not only the loss of its beloved home but also the challenges of its altered existence, little did Tabby know, the journey ahead would test its resilience in ways it never imagined, in the small town, the residents had developed a strong aversion towards a particular cat, disdainfully, Referring to it as the ugly tabby, this disdain wasn't merely superficial, some believed the cat was a harbinger of misfortune, especially since it was the sole survivor of a devastating fire that had recently afflicted the community. As a result, the townsfolk not only ceased providing for its needs but also subjected it to cruel treatment. It wasn't uncommon for tabby to be kicked aside if it crossed someone's path, and injuries it suffered were ignored by all, throughout this ordeal, only. Joanna and her mother extended any form of compassion towards the beleaguered animal. Although they would have gladly offered the cat a home from the outset, Julie, Joanna's mother, harbored some reservations, suspecting perhaps there was truth to the superstitions surrounding Tabby, despite her hesitations, she couldn't ignore the cat's plight, especially when Joanna, moved to tears, implored her in the car to provide it a sanctuary. The combined factors of Joanna's tears, which were distressing to Julie, in her own growing sympathy for Tabby, having witnessed its maltreatment firsthand, compelled Julie to finally welcome the cat into their home. Secretly, Julie felt a sense of relief and pride, admiring her daughter's empathy, courage, and determination. Upon their arrival home, Julie tasked Joanna with bathing the cat while she went to procure some cat food. Despite its exhaustion, Tabby allowed Joanna to bathe it without resistance, a testament to its desperate need for care after the bath. As Tabby ate, it fell asleep mid-meal, an evident sign of its exhausting ordeal living on the streets. Joanna regretted not having convinced her mother to take in Tabby sooner, realizing the extent of its suffering. The following day brought about a brief panic when Joanna discovered Tabby missing, only to later find it cozily nestled in a cabinet. Relieved, she placed it on a bed her mother had prepared, despite ragamuffins being known for their affectionate nature. Tabby initially kept its distance from Joanna and her mother, understandably wary after its harsh experiences. However, Joanna and her mother remained patient and nurturing, offering food and toys to engage it. A ball of yarn quickly became Tabby's cherished toy, bringing it joy and amusement as it trailed the yarn throughout the house. This journey from mistrust and trauma towards a budding bond underscored the healing power of kindness and patience. Joanna and her mother's unwavering care gradually helped Tabby to overcome its past, illustrating the profound impact of empathy and love on those who have suffered. Joanna was unfazed by the minor inconveniences, as long as it contributed to Tabby's recovery. One morning, as she prepared toast, she felt a gentle nudge against her legs, glancing down. She was greeted by Tabby, a sight that filled her with joy. This was a clear sign that Tabby was finally beginning to trust her. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, and soon Tabby became her constant companion, following her everywhere and even snuggling at her feet as she slept. The joy turned to panic, however, when Joanna woke to find Tabby missing one morning, the cat was nowhere to be found, not in its usual spots nor anywhere in the house. In desperation, Joanna called out for Tabby, her voice echoing through the silent house, her heart sank upon noticing Tabby's favorite toy, a ball of yarn, unraveling from the kitchen to the front door, a telltale sign that Tabby had somehow managed to escape. Frantically, Joanna searched outside, calling for Tabby in a deserted and silent street, a silence that seemed ominous. Despite her efforts, there was no sign of Tabby. She returned home, overwhelmed by a sense of loss and dread, fearing the worst for Tabby who was not accustomed to the outside world or other people, distraught. She waited for her mother's return, and upon her arrival, Joanna shared the heartbreaking news. Together, they decided to take action. After a brief attempt to eat, which Joanna found difficult due to her distress, they prepared. Missing posters featuring Tabby's image, they distributed these throughout the neighborhood, encountering a mix of reactions. 
but remained undeterred. During their search, Joanna noticed the same group of children who had previously threatened Tabby. They seemed to share a secret, laughing and running away at the sight of the posters. Although Joanna was tempted to confront them directly, she chose to continue her methodical search instead. As the day turned to evening, their efforts had yet to yield any results, the posters were all distributed, and the community's responses provided no clues to Tabby's whereabouts. As darkness fell, Joanna and her mother faced the disheartening reality that Tabby was still missing, leaving them to ponder their next steps in the hope of finding their beloved cat. After an exhausting search, a mother and daughter were trudging home, their spirits low, when suddenly the sound of a meow pierced the silence, igniting a flicker of hope within them. They halted, scanning their surroundings, trying to pinpoint the origin of the sound. When they heard the meow again, they retraced their steps until Joanna spotted their beloved cat, Tabby, perched precariously at the top of a tree. Joanna's heart sank as she deduced that Tabby couldn't have climbed up there on her own. Someone must have deliberately placed her there. Just as Joanna was contemplating how to rescue Tabby, she heard laughter behind her. Turning around, she saw the group of children they had encountered earlier, their laughter filled with mischief, making it clear they were responsible for Tabby's plight. Joanna's mother rushed home to fetch a ladder, giving Joanna a moment to confront the children. She challenged them, asking how they would feel if they were treated similarly, if they were called names or pelted with stones. She emphasized that Tabby had never wronged them, yet they had been cruel enough to endanger her life by leaving her stranded in the tree. Joanna's words seemed to strike a chord, as the children's laughter faded, replaced by a somber reflection on their actions. In a surprising turn of events, one by one, the children returned, their demeanor changed, and offered sincere apologies to both Joanna and Tabby. They promised never to repeat such cruelty, marking a moment of growth and understanding with the help of Joanna's mother and the latter. They were able to safely retrieve Tabby from the tree. The mother and daughter duo returned home their hearts full of joy, relieved not only to have Tabby back but also reassured by the transformation they witnessed in the children. From that day forward, the community's attitude towards Tabby improved significantly, with the children often leaving treats for her. This incident served as a powerful lesson in courage, kindness, and empathy, illustrating how standing up for what is right can lead to positive change. Joanna's bravery and compassion not only saved Tabby from further harm but also taught a valuable lesson to those around her. Have you ever witnessed or intervened in a situation where animals were being mistreated? What was the outcome? Share your stories of animal rescue or advocacy in the comments below.